Hello and welcome to a short presentation video of the ITT Studio Recorder 66. The ITT Studio Recorder 66 is a cassette tape recorder from the 1970s. It's a really typical tape recorder for ITT. They have made uh, many such tape recorder like this in the 1970s. Here it has a tape counter. There it has an internal microphone. It's not a really high quality microphone because it's recording the sound of the motor, but it's not other possible. To say it, I have no external microphone for it, so I must use the internal. Here we have the level meter. While playing, it's a bad meter. Here you can see now it's the needle down, and if I press start, now the needle goes up and reflecting the battery reserve. Here I have the level control. Now this is on automatic and if I put it down now I can adjust the level manually. Now it goes back to automatic level control. Here I have a volume control and a tune control. You have the controls for play, rewind and this switch here is for pose. Okay, now let's do a short test record. Here I can open up the recorder and I put in a cassette. For recording, you have first press the record button. And now you can adjust the level. Now I am at uh, automatic level control, so you can see the meter is moving to my so to my voice and here I can put it to manually so now I leave it at automatic level control for starting the recording you have to hold record button and press the start button so now the recorder starts to record okay now let's do a short test record on the ITT studio recorder 66 this Cassette recorder has AC bias, so it has a really high quality, not DC bias, it, had, it has AC bias. It has a full track mono head, so it's not a half track mono, it has a really full track mono, so that's good quality. So uh, it's no problem to play a stereo cassette, that's not a problem for this recorder. It just mix this both channels together. Okay, good. Now let's test the pose function. Now it's in pose. Tape is stop moving, but the motor is still moving. Now it. Now you can see it's moving again. So good. Now going to stop for rewinding. You have to press this rewind button, this is for fast forwarding. But if you press it, 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 it holds not, not, not the button. You must put your finger on the button and, and leave it. Also man, man muss mit mit Finger drauf bleiben und den Knopf einhalten, damit der Knopf hält, weil, weil wenn man nur kurz drauf drückt, bleibt nicht selber drin. Good, now I rewind to the zero point because I have a tape counter. So now zero and now I'm going to play it back. So now the recorder starts to record. Okay, now let's do a short test record on the ITT Studio Recorder 66. This cassette recorder has AC bias. So, so now let's uh, check out the tune control. Not DC bias, it has it has AC bias, it has a full track mono head, so it's not a half track mono, it has a really full track mono, so that's good quality. So uh, it's no problem to play a uh, stereo cassette. It's so you can see it's working really fine. At the moment I'm uh, using this recorder with uh, 220 volt 
power cord right here you can see it also can use batteries and at the back we have uh, two connectors this thin jack here is a uh, stereo uh, no not stereo uh, uh, in output connector so you can put in a signal into the recorder or you can use it as a signal source there we have an amplified output so there you can connect a loudspeaker on it the interesting thing on, on that is that this is a, a stereo um, output for an amplified loudspeaker so the, the amplifier in it is a mono amplifier but it duplicates the signal at the output so good that's it for the ITT St Studio Recorder 66 I have booked this recorder on the flea market for about 5 euros so that's not really much and it, it, it works really fine the, the only thing I have to do is uh, to replace the level meter because uh, when I have booked this recorder the level meter was not working so I have to replace so I have replaced that and I've cleaned the record head and the capstan with a cleaning substance so that's it thanks for watching